Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Jamaica Politics Uncovered. Thank you for joining. New subscribers, welcome to the platform. Returning subscribers, welcome back. I'm glad you decided to hang out here again tonight with us to talk about some very important issues that affects Jamaica. Whether you are in Jamaica or in the diaspora, it doesn't matter. One Jamaica, and we should all, you know, feel some sense of responsibility in a way to make sure that, you know, our country is on the right path as we are a developing country. Most of us, we have seen Jamaica as a developing country our entire lives. Some of us are really hopeful that someday, while we're still here, we can see a country that comes to its full potential as a developed nation. So again, thank you for being here, guys. All right, let me big up my tribe. Um, see some new names. Some new names, new faces. Thank you for joining. Um, Team Justice for Melissa. Yes, welcome. Yes. So Lola. Um, Sonia, good night, Miss Sonia. Guys, I'm going to start doing some members-only uploads. Um, I encourage you to become a member here because if you are, then you will get to see them. And I didn't do it sooner because I wanted to give people a chance to decide if they want to join, hit the join button and become a member over here. But I'm going to start doing some exclusive uploads for my membership team. So I hope that you guys have enjoyed the program this week. Today, tonight is the last night that I'll be on. This is spring break, guys. Most kids are out of school for spring break, including my 15-year-old. So we're going to do some things and stuff like that. So you won't see me back here until Monday. So tonight on the agenda, without further ado, we are going to be talking about a very serious issue, guys. We're going to put these people's patriotism to the test. Yes. And we're putting their patriotism to the test because our democracy is on shaky grounds. And I'll go on and explain to you guys why that is so. But in the meantime, we're looking at a group of people who are watching our political institution in sh remain in shambles and if in a mind shop, go up in flames. And this is not an exaggeration. We see what is happening right now. Right, guys? We see some new norms that should never be considered a norm. So we're going to get into it. I'm going to ask you guys to please share the live. Hold on just a second, guys. One second, guys.
Yes, guys. So, may I ask you to please share the live. Make sure that, you know, we're not saving up the information for ourselves. Remember, guys, over here, we are about information. We're about, you know, sharing information. We're about awakening people's consciousness. We are about truth and facts and speaking truth. So, guys, please share the live and hit the like button so we can get talking, okay? So, yeah, um, last day of the blogging week or the vlogging week, whatever you want to say it. And we're certainly going to go out with a bang because this week, today, I mean, we are putting the patriotism of these people to the test, right? And we're going to talk about who really cares about good governance. I think you have people who want to raise the argument of good governance. But we're going to see if they really care about good governance. All right? So I'm going to go mute for about 30 seconds. I'll be right back, okay? I'll give you guys a chance to like the live and all those kind of things. Just give me a second, guys. Yeah, guys. So, make we talk about it. Patriotism. Welcome, new member. New member. New member alert. Miss Herman Hall. Welcome. Miss Herman Hall. Sorry. Welcome, Miss Herman Hall. Lord Jesus, I want to me. Miss Herma Hall. Welcome to Jamaica Politics Uncovered, and I thank you for your membership. All right now, guys, so let us define the word patriotism. That's where we have to start, right? Before we test these people's patriotism. And there's a reason why I am testing their patriotism. And I'll tell you in just a second. So let us define patriotism. According to dictionary.com, patriotism means devoted love, support, and defense of one's country, national loyalty, right? A patriot is someone who loves support and is prepared to serve their country, right? I'm not going to talk about the United States right there. We're talking specifically about the word patriotism. In patriotism, guys, there's no patriotism to political parties before there is a patriotism to your country. The patriotism that we are talking about here tonight must be and should be to one's country before anything. Because without a country, there's no party. Without a country, there is no people. And these political parties that we have in our country, they cannot survive and exist without the support of the people. 
even when them have a majority in the parliament, it's people, people, these political parties, they don't belong to their leaders. They belong to the people of the country. So let us put their patriotism to the test. I'm going to go through each of them, if I can here. We have um, 14 members of parliament. Well, let me just say 13, because we're going to leave out Mark Golding out of it so far. And we have some senators with a voice. So we're going to draw on them too, right? You have this man here, Julian Robinson. Member of parliament. Member of parliament. Member of Parliament, Member of Parliament, you know call him, you know? Member of Parliament, you know Member of Parliament, Senator, Senator, MP, 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 MP. I may have left out a few, maybe a one or a two, maybe. MP. MP, MP, right guys? So despite all of this, we see everything that's going on in our political institution today. Over here in Jamaica Politics Uncovered, you are going to come here and hear about politics, okay? That's what this channel is about. So we see what our political institution today, 2024, is. And if you are a patriotic Jamaican and feel that what is happening what is happening is okay, and if you feel comfortable with the state of our political institution right now, I would have to question your patriotism. I would really have to question your patriotism. This is the lowest. This is the lowest that we have ever seen it, right? And it is the lowest because you have a government that appears, you know, they're doing their thing, however they know how. And then you have an opposition who for the last four years, they have failed to present an alternative to the Jamaican people. This has never happened before in our history, no. We have had situations in Jamaica before where we only had nine members of parliament in Jamaica from one side, or eight or something like that, several times. From both parties, they've had a really small minority in the parliament. And they were still able to present themselves as some form of alternative to the people still manage to go in there and participate in discussions without disrespect flying all across the place and just very sad and intolerable for people like me to watch and listen. So the reason why I'm questioning these people's patriotism is we don't mince words over here now, guys. We try to be as polite as possible. But there are times when you have to speak the truth and it may come off a bit harsh, but it's never intended to cause anybody harm or any kind of distress. The truth is what we speak over here. The reason why I'm questioning these guys' patriotism is because we see what the PNP is today with this kind of leadership. You are looking at a man who calls himself a leader, Mark Golding, who he's grossly unfit. And that's the nicest way I can say it. Grossly, grossly unfit. Mark Golding doesn't even represent, you know, 1% of the population, but that's another story, okay? So the, 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 the opposition party is so unviable that there's never been a time in history that we can make a comparison with what we're seeing today. It's not just me who's saying this. 
There are people in Jamaica who are either on one side or the other side or no side who look at the situation and say, this is just unbelievable what we are seeing. How did he get there? $10 million. Promises to the party workers. Propaganda against his opponent. Smear campaigns. Peter Bunting by his side. You know, you know how he does. Right? That's how he got there. And then he gets there and the base of the party disappears. We all remember what a PNP opposition party or government party, when them call out and say meeting or rally or whatever, there's a sea of orange. We have not seen that in quite some time. Certainly not now. Every poll that has been done since 2020, it has shown this man behind the current Prime Minister, Andrew Owens, including polls that he commissioned, including polls that he commissioned. They all have him behind Andrew Owens, who in my view, who in my view, has become very unpopular. Yes. And I don't really care if your people over here were offended by me saying that. Only no matter always tell the truth. But one thing I'm going to tell you if I see in the comment, talking any foolishness and trying to, you know, trying to skew the truth. I'm going to take you out of there. Over here says about truth. If you don't want to hear the truth, don't stop here. Andrew Owens has become very unpopular. And the evidence, because you know we talk with evidence and facts. The evidence is in his voter turnout. Lowest in history. We have never seen apathy this high in the history of Jamaica politics. We have never seen it. Somebody say I freeze on their TV. I'm a freeze on the TV. I'm a freeze on your TV. Somebody uh, make a comment and tell me if everything is fine with the audio and the visual and everything. All right, yes. So 37% voter turnout, um, a little bit lower than last. I'm talking the local government election now, a little bit lower than we saw it. 29.6% compared to 30% last time. Not that much different, but Andrew Holness has a record right now of being a prime minister with the lowest voter turnout. And he said it himself in the last election when he was asked how he felt about it, the turnout and the outcome. He said he had concerns. He had concerns about the turnout. So it's not like he hasn't acknowledged it. And he has said that publicly, that he acknowledged it, right? But even so, with a man that has become unpopular, every poll against a Mark Golding, Mark Golding is polling behind him. Mark Golding is polling behind him. So now to the question of patriotism. When these 13 members of parliament look at the situation and ca calculate and try to project what the outcome will be, not for the party, but for the country. Because when people now come out, come vote, they might try to tell you something. Them trying to tell you something. Them trying to tell you that, listen, something is missing here. There's a problem here. But the PNP is playing tone deaf. 
They are playing tone deaf. They are not living up to their promise to the people of doing what is right for their country. They are not living up to the expectation of the people. Let me just tell them people here straight. Being a representative of the people and being a patriotic Jamaican is more than dressing up to go to parliament for photo ops. It really is. Nobody in Jamaica is not frightened for looks and clothes and them thing there. Right and all the people, them, they're weary. They're tired. When we look over at our friends in the UK, we saw the party that's it, that is in power right now. They change leaders almost a three times. Them change leaders over there. And them change leaders as frequently as they did because something was not going right. And when something is not going right, you do not play tone deaf. You do not sit back for things to collapse even further. You rise to the occasion. You put yourself out there. You take one for your team if you have to. If everybody else is afraid to come out and stand up for patriotism, you be that one. Even in the United States, in recent times, I see where, you know, the Republican Party and there are members in there who say, no way, I am too much of a patriot. To continue in silence and pretend as if this is normal. This is not normal. And them even lose them seat over it. Liz Cheney is one such person. Dick Cheney's daughter. And she was hell bent. She said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be a patriot. I'm going to stand up to Donald Trump. And that she did. She lost her seat because, of course, she's the woman. She's being, you know, she's standing up to Donald Trump. She's being a patriot. So them basically going there, go try to sabotage and undermine her. But she took it and she walked away proudly with her patriotism and with her conscience clear. And that is what you do when you are a patriot. None of these guys on the PNP side are patriots to me right now. None of them. They have a man in leadership who they know is grossly inept for several reasons. And they all sit there or they all hide. Some sit there and try to pretend it's normal or they hide away or they go silent. As if to say, I'm afraid to offend. I'm afraid to rock the boat. I'm afraid to speak out. No, that's not what you do. You stand up for patriotism because if somebody is supposed to attack Jamaica right now, and our soldier, they're supposed to go out there, go defend the country. They have to run out and defend the country because that's what they sign up for, to be patriots. So these people, there's nothing patriotic about them. Nothing at all. As Liz said the other night, Passion Paradise, who are you calling bitter? Who is bitter? Talk up quick Passion Paradise so we can go on with the program. Passion Paradise, talk up quick, my love, because we're not talking about parables over here, so you know. We talk straight forward. So talk to me about the bitterness that you are alluding to. I'm going to give you a few minutes, but I'm going to go on speaking. I'm watching every comment, guys, like I normally do. So talk about patriotism. There's nothing patriotic about these guys. Their party and Jamaica could go up in flames right now for all they care. And it's a sad thing to see. 
It's a very sad thing to see. Let her call this. I take patriotism very serious. I was raised to be a patriot. Taught by school, taught by your community, taught by your church, taught by your family. To be patriotic. Pro-Jamaican, even from in the diaspora here, so. Patriotic and proud. And enough Jamaican could not come out here and do what me do. But I am a patriot. And I can't put up any one of these politicians who call themselves public figures. So them I represent the people. I can't put up any one of them part here so who are doing wrong to the people. And call them out. Because it's always about the people. Let's call this. Liz is our correspondent near in Kingston, Jamaica. Political activist, historian. Hi, Liz. How's it going? Liz? Oh. This is something about patriotism. I see a news item in Raymond Price um, saying that. Um, Members of parliament from government earning big bucks, it seems, from social media, YouTube in particular, in name. Hmm? Well, hold well on, hold well on, hold well on, well on. You say members of parliament are earning on YouTube and on social media? Yes, Raymond. It, um, t all right, everybody. Good night, good night. When everybody's finished, TVJ, it was about 15, 20 minutes ago. It was a fourth or fifth item, TVJ, mm -hmm. Comet Price, and he was live, said members of parliament, JLP, earning on YouTube, social media, doing government work too, on the social media space, them earning big bucks, got, you know, YouTube pay. Mm -hmm. And he's questioning whether it is being reported in their report to the IC. Very interesting. It comes on the news since night. I forgot to look into that. I forgot to follow up that. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Thank you for the information. So, um... Yes, that's a picture, that's a picture at Raymond Price. Okay. So, tonight we're talking about... We're testing the patriotism of these people, Liz. Um, we have all of them here and we're specifically talking about the PNP tonight because they are the ones, they are the ones with the problem within their yes. organization where the political institution cannot function as it should. So when I, I'm of the opinion, Liz, I don't know if you agree with me, but I'm of the opinion that they're not patriotic. They're not behaving patriotic according to the definition of patriotic. So tell us what you think or if you agree or disagree that, you know, they're, they're compromised where their patriotism is concerned. Okay, good night, everybody. I agree with everything you said. However, just let, let us make a distinction. There are two patriots, two patriots in the People's National Party. Dr. Peter David Phillips and Lisa Anna. Everybody else is about themselves. Themselves. And it is so very sad because the country is suffering, suffering massively, massively. The bunting and golding has no interest in the advancement, the welfare, the development, the progress, the um, the prosperity of Jamaica. They have no interest in that. Bunting came home, and at the time he was um in, I don't know if it's by marriage of the daughter or what, but he was in the company present of a gentleman called O.K. Meledo, who was close to Prime Minister Manley. Through that door, our venue, 
Bunting were, became familiar with the operations of the Prime Minister's office because Michael was in power. And on seeing that, Peter Bunting decided uh, that he more have the Prime Minister for Peter Bunting's sake. Mm -hmm. Not for the MP, not for the, 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 the country, but for Peter Bunting's sake. And thus he embarked on a very piranha like campaign, slicing, cutting throats, crushing, drowning, you name it. Anybody who was in the wheel, even wives, were slashed. Because when Michael retired, he instantaneously dumped wife number two or three, which was Michael Manley's daughter in law. Mm. Or, sorry, stepdaughter, not daughter in law, stepdaughter. Mm. He dumped her instantly. Once Michael retired, because he was using she. That is how vicious Peter Bunting is to be prime minister. In the business in nobody else, it is about me, myself, and I. Mark Bolin is a seal. Mark Bolin is a vessel because he has lost his seat. Mark Bolin is a vessel through which is he was he was hoping to become prime minister of Jamaica, mm -hmm. and so with Mark Bolin. Feeling is a Mark Golin I have no patriotism now. Mark Golin disrespect the PMP, the, the, the PMP symbol of the rising sun, them change that. Mark Golin disrespect the PMP founder history. Mark Golin disrespect the PMP anthem. Mark Golin disrespect, disrespect the PMP's constitution. And going, it flows right over. Mark Golin dis, disrespect nationally, your buster. Our Independence Day, our flag, our anthem, our language, our customs, our norms, our parliamentary proceedings, our budget debates. Mark Golding disrespect everything Jamaica. So the word patriotism and Mark Golding will never, it is like oil and, and water. So never tell us, be, so tell us, tell us, tell us why is it that? Of all the members of parliament, the 13 of them, right? And we are not seeing any of them in that you are calling patriots trying to do anything to change the situation. So why is it that you single out Dr. Phillips and Lisa Hanna to say that they are patriots, but the others aren't? You have to tell the audience. Okay. Okay. First of all, Dr. Peter David Phillips grew up in the People's National Party. And Dr. Peter David Phillips recognized the dangers, the serious dangers to the PMP and to himself. So in order for the PMP not to be this, because Bunting showed his piranha like um, self when he wrote the, when he did the WikiLeaks um, interview and challenged the intellectual capacity of then Prime Minister, Bush has since Miller, I use the name Peter. And with Peter Phillips there and him there, it came out, it was used um, in a dangerous way as a propaganda that Peter Phillips was the one who said it. Dr. Phillips denied. And it was true, he, he denied 28 media houses. And the others that came later, he has denied it all his life that I said no such thing. Then Peter Bunting, use the situation again in St. East Portland, writing a resignation letter that Dr. Phillips never wrote. Then when Mark Golden developed the coup letter to host Dr. Phillips by, via a coup, Dr. Phillips again, in the interest and in keeping the People's National Party in the fold, in the position that it is. Dr. Phillips challenged them and called a meeting in order to deal with the matter because he, to be honest, if Dr. Phillips unleash every human being possesses inside them a streak of cruelty, every one of us has it. Some people is able to control it based on their upbringing. And Dr. Phillips is one such person. Dr. Phillips called them to a meeting 
I mean, the great politician he is, he dealt with the matter. And Red Man Barlow said, no, no, I lied. Them tricked me and the whole thing crumbled. They went further. When he called them for a meeting in 2018 and disclosed, doctors have diagnosed me with stage 2 um, um, colon cancer, and the doctors have given me a very good bill of health that I will be capable of of advancing the party in the general election. And at the time, the polls were saying, every poll was saying the PMP would win. But well, on the, just a second, Liz. Um, hold that thought. I have to respond to this person asking. Drew Fall, um, what are some things that Andrew can do to help the people of Jamaica? Bread gone up, sugar gone up, chicken back gone up. Please give him some advice. Thank you. I believe in you. To answer that question, Drew Fall, to answer that question, what I will say to you is that Andrew Wallace may not be able to control the increase in food prices because it's a world phenomenon right now. But what he can do is increase the wages of the people, which I think he just said in his budget speech. So maybe that's something that, you know, you can look into or look forward to. But we will talk more about that later on, if you wish. Go ahead, Liz. Yes. Um. Let me jump into that too. Doctor Peter David Phillips devised a plan where Doctor Phillips looked at um the situation involving the low income earners, the lower income earners, and the party workers, and he came up with an idea which he presented uh, to the, to the entire. Um, cadre at the time, 29, because we had lost the uh, South St. Mary by, by conniving um, the gold, bunting gold in again and others. So he told them there was this plan he had to start. Wait, Liz, 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 hold on, just mm -hmm. a, hold on just a second. I feel like you're giving us a biography of Dr. Phillips. I don't want to really no, speak man, on No, no, no. I am, all right, let me cut it short. Liz. What I am doing is putting the, 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 the patriotic side I am. Liz, members say we only have so long on the program, so I would really want <laughs> you to just answer the question. I ask you, okay. why is it that of all the 13 MPs, you only pick out Dr. Phillips and Lisa to Lisa say? And, okay. L all right, Lisa, on her part now, as a patriot, Lisa refused to bring the internal because it has been going underground for quite some time, you know. The ruthlessness of these two men who wanted to be Prime Minister and Minister of Finance. And Lisa Anna refused. She was asked by a journalist before the 2020 election about the hearing argument, and she was asked, and Lisa said, we i do not bring the pnp business to the public space patriotism now if we didn't have those two persons then the party would completely disintegrate into splinters right how, how, how do you how do you define patriotism first of all how do you define patriotism all right good good Patriotism is the loyalty and the love of country and the, right, the, 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 the joy, the pride, the honesty. You stand up in any forum, anywhere in the world, and you proudly say, I am Jamaican. Okay. I am Jamaican. And you defend your country. You defend your country. Where you see that there are errors being made in the name of your country you speak out but you speak to it in a way that doesn't degrade belittle and uh, 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 you become like a, a spy against your own country you're a patriot a patriot is the love of country and you stand by and anywhere in the world you go you are proud to get up and say i am jamaica that's patriotism okay and only Dr. Phillips and Lisa Anna inside the PMP is exhibiting that as uh, those characteristics. So why is it that um, after seeing how horrible the opposition has performed 
and all the internal problems and the false pretenses because we have heard Margolin come out and say everything good man, we're good man, we, we, we unite and we know that's not true. I hate to call people liars, you know what I mean? But when the truth is presented and people are going to come and try to distort it as if you're a two-year-old, it is insulting, you know? So with, with all of that being said, why is it you think that the members of parliament cannot act in the interest of the country, right? Because we have to have a functional opposition no matter who it is. Why do you think it is that the Palwell, the Hannah, the Dr. Phillips, the Brown Burke, the Hilton, the Scott Motley, the Dr. Guy, um, the Mikhail Phillips, the, 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 the Fitz Jackson, the, um, what a gentleman name from where, where the man had, had go for that seat there, him, you know, uh, Graham, Graham, Graham. Um, um, a young cousin. person like cousins. Why is it yeah. that they are all sitting down, still trying to carry out a job that they're failing miserably at? Because when, when a person look at your party, first thing they see is the leader and then the leadership, okay? So if you have a leader where don't make sense, them they've never look on the ship. You know what I'm saying? So why is it that all these guys who appear to be bright, they say they're bright, you know, they're lawyers, they're this, they're that. Why is it that they're sitting down, dumbing themselves down, but we don't really care if them want to dumb down themselves, but dumbing down the country, we all know, everybody knows, P and P, JLP and no P, that there is something fundamentally wrong, right? Some, something just so unusual happening. The leader is not fit. I, I, I even well, feel funny calling him a leader. It's just a very embarrassing situation. Why so is it? Why is it? Be, 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 our culture, finish, finish. No, I'm saying, why is it? Yes. Tell, tell the audience, why is it that they're all sitting down, not doing anything about it in the interest of the country? Okay. Um. First of all, as I said, Lisa and Dr. Phillips, it is about the PMP and Jamaica, not about them. For the rest of the persons, Bloomberg, it is about self, me, myself, and I. And that goes for everybody else. Paul, well, he want me, myself, and I. He wants to be leader. Julian Robinson, me, myself, and I. He wants to be leader. Um, wait there, wait there, Liz. Uh, Liz, you really believe, say, Paul, will and Julian, them want to be leader? Michael Phillips, um, Cousins, um, uh, who else? Name all of them except Lisa and, and uh, Dr. Pink. All of them, it's about Julian Robinson, it is here to everyone. In start position, can him think him of him can lead. Mm -hmm. um, Angela Brownberg, oh Lord, Angela Brownberg is the most vulnerable of the lot. She picked on every commission, a committee inside the PNP, historically. She did that. When Prime Minister said to me, like, tell her, you are overstretched, I'm going to remove you. She and her husband took us out of government 2016 because Kosha So it's about her sense. She wants to be leader. She wants to be Prime Minister. Um, um, what's his name again? Graham thinking of himself. Alex would have stand up and fight for for his constituency. Damien Crawford, it is about him. Him lingering, him talking, because him a project his ego and Damien is oh and Damien. Damien, if Damien was thinking of the party and the nation, Damien mm -hmm. would have stand up and fight the works for each who has intangible. Because no constituent of PMP and Labour like love the man in a issue of St. Andrew. None of them never fight against the man. And the man run left them spinelessly. The man go to East Portland, same thing, the man run left them. So it is about the man and the man ambition. Um, Dennis Daly, who I admire, Dennis at one point, uh, let's say, but no, Mr. Dennis, uh, 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 support. 
are an imbecile who is a misfit. So then is all of them, it is about me, myself, and I. Some of them want a leader, but the majority, all of the rest of them, want to see how wealthy them can lead the political arena. It's never about the people. It's never about the party. It's never about the country. It's about me, myself, and I with this crap we have here. With the exception of Lisa and Dr. Fizz Gafford. Those two, it is about party and country. Well, this is quite shocking to hear, Liz. I have to tell you. Because... I have to and speak it ever. Cause it what it will. You are the wrong he did. He still has done the wrong thing. The reason I say... The reason I say it's shocking is because after what happened, uh, which brought the party to its knees, which were right. in do and everything like that, you mean to tell me, say, you still have people in there who are member of parliament and still on about leadership? Yes. You see, if it was about the PNP, you know, Make we say if it was about Jamaica because we're talking about patriotism. Jamaica, yes. Mm -hmm. If it was about Jamaica, then from 2021, when Mark Golden said and launched what he launched, members of parliament inside the PNP would have challenged him there and then. Mm -hmm. When the four men was elected in 2018 as vice president. Up to this day, I am I have not changed my position. They should not not have resigned as vice president. They should have stayed there. And by then, if they were, it was about their patriotism, their love of country. The four of them would have stayed there, moving from 2018, get rid of him, so he would be here in 2019 to cause um to organize the, the coup the second coup against zaka Phillips and the pmp and jamaica he wouldn't have been there in 2020 to use groups like pussy galore and and, and bandulism and, and criminality and get with her, the young lady at 18 who stood up to the world in support of Miss South Africa in apartheid South Africa. She took a political stance and had the tones with her had other contestants supporting her. If they were patriots to them country in 2021, they would have challenged him and moved him. If they were patriots in 2022, Mark Rowling would be gone. If they were patriots in 2023, Mark Rowling would be gone. And certainly, if they were patriots in 2024, what Mark Golding and Peter Bunting did in this budget presentation, they would have told them what they, you would have an emergency meeting. Statement come out, Governor General get letter. Mark Golding has been removed as opposition leader and 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 um, the, the patriot name, opposition leader. But it's about me, myself, and I, and then posturing who come get delegate run go up go vote for them uh, uh, and put them in a leadership that is what it's all about the general secretary if they were patriots to them country it couldn't get it so long him shouldn't get it because bandu is him again but they're not patriots of themselves they must say who can come out like the riches so liz talking about patriotism when the jlp was faced with some internal unrest with them leadership. Hold on, with yeah. them leadership, with you know their internal issues, you know, big warfare for a long time. When the men, when the men who left the party went over to the NDM, do you think that they were acting um on patriotism or they were just what do you think about that? Because if, well, if well, because well. It, we don't know we don't know how it would have looked if the members of the PNP who are you know who, who see that there's something fundamentally wrong if they had left and let's say form a party, you know I don't, I don't know how that would look, or if you know if people would say hey it's the right thing or whatever. But when the members of the JLP left and go form the NDM. Do you think that they were being patriots? God, they could have stayed and continued this unending fight. 
Yes, um, but the, the NDA was not formed by men living in a jail, you know. The NDA was formed by a group of politicians, D.K. Duncan, Bruce Golden. In fact, it was D.K. Duncan and some others from the JLP. And Bruce Golden was asked to lead it. That was how the NDA came about. But yes, internally in the JLP, um, Siago was proving to be a big political liability. And he was refusing. He was refusing for the sake of the country to give up the job which had left him, right? The leadership of the JLP had left him. And he was refusing. And at that period, within that 14 year period, he um he offered no salient, no quality opposition leadership and, and, and skills. And therefore some persons of courage took a stance. Some never went back. Bruce Golden came back because of the private sector initiative. But yes, I must say, I agree that they, I will say, without water, uh, without fear, they were acting in a not in patriotic manner because their, their country's democracy was on the line with him refusing to leave. And then, you know, the government of the day could have run. Roughshod, the PMP could have run Roughshod mm -hmm. over the situation. But so they were, they were, and see, by acting in, 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 um, you, um, being patriot, they are brought by the JLPP. Now, this, our situation is comprehensively different because these persons is using a thing called tradition. But the tradition that they are using is not is not giving the PMP the patriotic fervor it was started with because trust me you know the PMP was born out of a, the PMP birth and founding by Norman Washington man was actually a revolution against the British and the British rule you know of the Jamaican masses that was what it was so it was a patriotic birth mm. a patriot in the interest of the Jamaican people and the creation of the real creation of, so, the, of the Jamaican nation. Suppose a group of MP, suppose a group of MP, um, they leave the PNP and go farm on party. Sometimes when people do that, they're not doing it because they are confident that they can win anything. They do it because they're feeling their heart, their mind, body, and soul that that's the right thing to do. You understand? Suppose a group of people that leave yeah. the PNP and go farm a party, whether it be temporarily or permanently. How would you have felt about that? Okay, I am I, I'm never in agreement with that. And I am hoping, I am glad that it hasn't happened as, as, as not as happened as yet. I will ever happen. Because when you do that, to have done that, they would have given credence to what Mark Golden was saying and what Mark Golden was doing. In that Mark Golden calling the national hero, father of the nation, and founder of the PMP a liar, he, would, he actually called him a liar by saying that he is not the founder. And he changed it. He changed that is school number three on the PMP official document. You know, not sometimes I'm glad my mother, I mean, I have blood pressure problem, I mean, I have been, I mean, I have diabetes. Because things that has been done, why, this is such a great topic tonight. Why these men and women of the People's National Party who are members, some of them, or most of them also, right, are members, grew up in the PMP, and sat there, is still sitting there with this white, unpatriotic UK born man writing uh, that Norman Washington Manley is not the founder and him put a name in the space as founder. And them sit down there with it. Them, so when we get out, they never go from no other party because you must take this from these people. So Liz, in a bit, in a better them go farm a party than for sit down there and lower them value like they are because no. they've all, in my view, no, no, well, no, no, 
well, and you know, in my view, majority of them, Lisa, not so much because she already, she write her letter from how much years now, so she's not going back. So she basically remove herself from the dysfunction. But all of those, you see, oh. walking behind Margo, they've all lost value in a way that well, I, I don't think, they, I don't know if they well, can get it back. They've all lost value. But well, listen, but listen, Margo said again, after I remember Mark, now my man, the name has found that. He made another statement, which is a coup. I, Mark Rowling, have offered, because it is always about I, you know, notice how they talk, Peter Bunting, I, I tell him the Senate president yesterday, uh, 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 Wednesday, I am going to finish my speech, and I am going to this, and I am telling Lisa Anna, four-term MP who is coming on the PMP come that he is offering, I am offering you another seat. No man win our seat by 32. Jayton Campbell lose, Peter Bonsit lose, Jyla and Sylvia lose on 2016 and can't come back. But yet, if Mark Mullin are telling sitting MP, four term MP, that him will offer another seat. And Lisa stayed there in the recent local government election. And she defeat the whole of them. She win back her poor division in a South East sent and a seat and a constituency which has never been won by any other party but the PMP. The woman win the four division. So she, she is a patriot to country and to party any other you want to put it. And these people are sitting there with this man who do not have not a ounce of patriotism and loyalty to any country, not even country about the UK, is on the loyal to money and him friend Peter Bunting to power his dream of becoming Prime Minister of Jamaica. It burn me bad, it burn me belly bad. Oh, the MP them sit down under that. That means they are of the same ilk. Them unpatriotic. And I'm sure that's some country where them living and where them get shot. Feet. Yeah, man, them unpatriotic bad. Based mm -hmm. on what is happening to our party and our country, them unpatriotic, they are not an ounce of them, not even know what it means. When to we be look, a patriot to our country, when we look over there in the UK, like I was saying before you came on, where we saw in the, the current leadership, I mean, the current party that's uh, Dittori, that's in government, Dittori, yeah, yes, sorry, they have changed at least three leaders. I mean, one leader that they chose, she she only lasted 45 days. But they did uh -huh. what they knew it, they had to do, right? Of course. And, yes, and in the PNP now, a man that cannot give a speech without having his head planted in whatever they write and hands to him. A man who cannot speak fluently on issues affecting the country, but rather just get up there and street talk, you know? A man that cannot articulate, that cannot articulate and cannot stand up and have an equal, equally substantial discussion on the issues along with members of the other side. I don't, I don't, I've never seen a set of people so unpatriotic in my life. I have to tell you. Uh, uh, it's true. It has to be said, and I am saying, it is such a pity that we don't have a... <laughs> the, 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 in the Arab world, you know, me admire them, those youngsters. When you have politicians that come up like the, like these are the, that you have here, excluding Dr. Pills and Lisa, in a in a in a India, for instance, when the Indian population became disgruntled with um what's her name, son, Indira Gandhi, she was shot by a snake, mm. a man who let her go. And when our son Rajiv took office, and the Indian people never feel the same and live up to the status of his mother and their and their and their heritage, the Indian heritage, patriotism. The lady walk up to him, you know. She was dead too, you know. But she walk up to Rajiv, put Ali, you know, the, the flowers um, thing around your neck, mm -hmm. like you get in our eye. She put one of that round him neck and she det det detonated and she and him dead right the whole world side. Mm -mm. Them, 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 I mean, 
mean, when you look at the 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 the, 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 the situation, the country, oh my God, the country, it is painful. None of them people. It is painful. Yeah. None of them. And these people, none of them. Everyone, sorry, everyone of them around behind this man. And as you say, the man can only do a two few lines of street lingua. In can't talk. In no respect Jamaica. In no respect with national anthem, with national symbol, with national pledge, with colors, with flag. In no respect with food. In no respect nothing about it because he's laser focused. Getting. The Piranha, Peter Bunting, Prime Minister, and he become finance minister. Them not money. The song the OJ says, money, 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 money. I'm a, a woman will sell her precious body for money. These guys are sold their soul. And them not have nothing. Near. And then the hurtful part, then it's nearly grouping at the PMP, you know. Nita Edley used to up our Nita Garvey. Used to upper PMP headquarters. Cousins grew up in the PMP. Fitz Jackson grew up in the PMP. In a PMP household. All of them, they know. Michael Phillips, who was the man that about him? That he make a statement that stayed with my chance. Let me ask you this. Let, let me ask you this. Go ahead. Eh, what did he say? Eh, the lady greeted him and said, I know, you know, I love your father. I love your father. That's a Phillips, a my favorite politician, you know. My God, I was standing there and me greeting first. And Michael Phillips said, yeah, that he must then is me you now. And I wonder if I end up in a way, I end up. Yeah, man, I'm shocked when he says something. He said, said, said this in recent times? The, the, last year, I champs, my God. Oh, last year. Oh. Yeah, um, so, it was a couple, man. you think, say, um, Bunting, Nobody where him go down. I don't understand. I never see a, sm a person with somebody eat so much. Everywhere that this yeah. man goes, whether he might work in a security, a lot of the police, them, them have nothing good to say about him. He's not, not warm. Good. He's not welcoming. I mean, nobody likes this man anywhere that he goes. I mean, even when he's offering them money, even when he's putting up $15 million, even when he spends hundreds of millions, to topple people and this and that, nobody don't like him. Do you think, Liz, that the worst thing Mark Golden could have done, I don't know if it would change anything, but to have Mark, to have Bunting side by side as him co-leader, come here, Liz, I say, Andrew Wallace is up against two leaders. Yes, Mark, Andrew Wallace is up against two of them. Yes, two leaders, Mark Golden and Bunting. So me I say no. You feel say Mark Golden do a little better if Bunting does drop off a drop off of the political planet? No, no, no. When they made their, when they became billionaires because of the efforts of Prime Minister Patterson and Finance Minister Omar Davis, they became billionaires because of those two men and the for, 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 um, the sweetheart deals that they got when the, they had the bank. Darren Bunting and Goli. The a statement came out of them when they became billionaires in the 1990s. They orchestrated the financial crash. They orchestrated it. Then a statement came out into the public domain. We are going to run Jamaica. Me, Bunting, I'm going to be Prime Minister. Mark, Jaina the it with me is going to be finance minister and Mark Wallen went on to say I am going to be better than Peter Phillips. Then Peter Phillips never get the job yet, but everybody knew his, his skill as a financial, he has a, a, a degree in finance also. Then Christopher Derrin would be in charge of the telecommunication and they started at a television station. Oh, no, no, I went with me, him. Uh, the purple and white television station where them start. It almost take take half of a port more. They start at tele at them own it now. Ready TV. I said the name. Everybody no, can remember um, Ready TV. They, they, electro they electro say they the steady. I want it one name the steady show. The steady show. I want that. Um, I don't know. Oh, somebody said it in the comment. The steady show. Okay. But, but they started already TV at a television station. So they 
were seeing themselves as the masters mm. over the entire nation. You understand? Ready the TV. Meant- them say ready so TV. They cannot be separated from Peter Bountain. Them say ready TV, Liz. Yes, mm. ready TV. I eat at them own it. And it was supposed to explode across the entire island. Can you imagine now if them did have them TV station up? And the well, proper, and where they made up the up on it. All right. You cannot separate. Um, to be honest, Christopher Derrin, who comes from a strong PMP background, too. I read it last year in an article. Christopher Derrin, drug ship, truth, I say, I ain't going the route they are going. So if you don't notice, you hardly see him, but in jump ship, he, him gone, in jump ship from them. In jump ship because he no like the direction when see the two of them headed in terms of he's a patriot then let's call let's say use the word with him oh okay in jump ship. but these two him are the first person them ask for go down a south east end and for go to police you know he was and him said no and then now the the the, the bunting and gold in china at the hip mm-hmm. bunting said when you see Mark, you see me. People don't forget, please. When you see me, you see Mark. Thank you, Steady T- Mark. Steady Show. Thank you for the contribution. Mm. Yes. So, you know, mm-hmm. it is important that we get at these unpatriotic members of parliament. It is time they must, the people they must not drip them. Where, where, where is your loyalty? God, patriotism is loyalty, you know. Is it to us, the masses, mm-hmm. that Norman fought so hard to build a nation for? Or is it to yourselves Liz, to see how much wealth we can live with? Liz, did you ever think the that, people? Liz, as a long-time supporter and activist at the PNP, did you ever in your mind yeah. think that you would I'm have to... Mem- well, on now. Yeah. Did you yeah. ever think in your mind that you would have to come public and call out these people on patriotism like you are right now? No, not in my mind. Somebody told me two, three, four, five years ago that I would end up doing it. I would say, no, you're crazy. Call out PMP patriotism. No, sir. But my goodness, well, the Lord works in mysterious ways. And he's not a Christian. No, sir. And it needs to be done. Mm-hmm. To be honest, mm-hmm. I must appreciate. I must say publicly, I appreciate you because this is an interesting, a vital, a vibrant, necessary topic. The patriotism of those persons must be questioned because they see what is happening in the country. They see what they are every day. They are in the parliament with with with, with Peter Bunting in the Senate, the upper house, and in the lower house with Mark Golden. They see, they know the divide that these men have created in the People's National Party. Mm-hmm. They know that he challenged and called the founder a liar. They know that he challenged what? Mr. Manti. What? They know what? that he has insulted our country and then still sit down there with him. Them unpatriotic and patriotic and they must be up. But listen, Liz, my- here's, a, here's a more serious question now. Andrew Wellness is there, and Andrew Wellness has lost some support and some um some um popularity. The situation now with him wife, I think that's gonna be an albatross around his neck. As I said last summer, when they first put her up as speaker. With that being said, your f- with all the, all the variables considered. Do you think that the Jamaican people would go to the polls on election day and take up back them Finsack people here, bunting and going and really put them in a government? Tell the truth. No, the local government spoke loudly to that. The local people are feeling it. 70, what I know, 71.9% of the voters did not turn up so the speaker are speaking mark golden ran a campaign speaking to mark golden never campaigned to the council candidate none of them none of them in a campaign for. he was campaigning for mark golden and he tried to deceive the people that it was a general election um get rid of as karen says get rid of the wicked jlp government so he tried young persons who really hurting 
and uh, 29, 21 percent of the population who hurt him went out and then give back unto wholeness under this serious condition under which we existed. The people and give back unto wholeness power in the local government and the line rises them, rumpies them, try every way if it twist it try to confuse the people again oh we swore in seven mayors oh we this and with that and when you break it down every time you break it down when he went down to the KCC swearing in and saw that the mayor was PMP and the deputy mayor was JLP Mark Wallen finally accepted that it was a 2020 total seven JLP parish municipal council five PMP and one tie but these people are them should be but, but, but Liz, we're not really here. One of the things we're gonna understand about Wagwan, the status of our political institution in Jamaica. We see we see an election denying set of people taking right. farm, taking farm in the politics and in the country. And there's only one somebody me hear in the media where I call it out, and it's Dean Jackson Miller. What happened to the rest, yes. of, the, rest of, the rest of media houses in a Jamaica? Even Cliff Hughes, where all right then, make we say Cliff Hughes make a blunder by genuine, genuinely did so by accident, right? When him come to him senses and him apologize and say, I know so it go. Oh, you know, hear them come out and I say, look here, we cannot, as a country, start to follow suit into this election denying behavior. Adi and Jackson Miller alone, me say I call it out. Patriotism. Something wrong. Love so of course something is wrong. You see, I must admire. You know, I must say. I must say it again. Joe Biden at eighty, how much is the oldest president? But Joe Biden put on him one suit and take on the unpatriotic Trump, who first started the big lie. Now we have the rumpus in Jamaica, bunting and golden mainly back by those two gentlemen who gave them the world. Put the big lie to me, a couple of the American thing. Them have tried, them are not denial because they are still delusional that Bunting can become prime minister. It now uh, never will I'm above my will. Yet those MPs with the background that they came from, the educational standard that they have, their political experience is sitting there unpatriotically sitting there with this man we the resistance and i'm going to stick about i've beaten him with our patriotic fervor i've beaten him into and i understand he has rewritten me the truth about the founder angela our jones resistance angela that. angela jones in the chat says that people will vote for them if god do all things and yet them choose barabbas over him Boy, Angela, no, I have seen no. some very interesting things happen in politics, my friend. So that's why me not, me not, me not, when it, when it, if you notice when me are talking, you know, and, you know, projecting, um, not projecting, I'm sorry. If when I'm talking about the trajectory of the politics based on what we have seen over the last three to four years, where we are now and what it may be down the road, you never, ever hear me come out here and come do like some people I said, this is a can't lose, this is a I can't win. I always try to stay neutral because when it comes to the politics, no matter how long you have been watching, guys, there's always going to be a time where a serious surprise is going to come. It's like me, I tell this. No, you're not telling any lies, it's a fact. But listen, the surprise always comes from the right people at the right time and trust me i understand i hear the the the, the person speaking in the program mm -hmm. but trust me the people is not going to vote mark Golin into office they're not going to mark Golin. all right you don't believe me if you notice it is now when was their last poll and mark Golin is standing you notice them not talk about no poll. You mm -hmm. notice suddenly, suddenly for the last three weeks or more, you haven't heard the the um the pitbull so-called general secretary. You haven't heard a word because the local government re 
election. Although it's a seven five one tie as it home, as it home, and some of them know the reality begins to eat them. That's why I am puzzled about the unpatrioticness of those senators. Jim and Crawford never have gone over into into St. Catherine to remove sitting MP um you go I mean, no. that shouldn't happen. Hold on because hold on that... hold on before you go there so Maxine says in the chat Mark can win by default if they destroy the Prime Minister enough. No him can't win by default he can't become prime minister it's 49 seats to 14 him, if if the prime minister is and to destroy the prime minister you know he has to be in control of the media the media is a is a profound um but, but Liz, but Liz, he have to control he doesn't control the media but he Liz, can't destroy the prime minister well and the but Liz, me and you know say more people are tuning to vloggers nowadays more than the media where them have a Jamaica where they call self media. Don't you know that? Yes. So the it yes. goes back to the patriotism again. You see these journalists in a Jamaica today? They not do nothing we call investigative journalism again, you know? No, all of those journalists have died. They have passed on, sadly. Yeah. They have passed, I would, they have passed on. Um, let me just tell you. When it comes down to argument about who might win by default or who will lose and then somebody, where the Prime Minister is concerned, I think the Prime Minister is doing everything to lose. Wouldn't you agree with that, guys? And Liz? Me think, uh, no. me think Andrew will to do everything. Me don't know. Me, you know, me not idiot, you know, Liz. Remember, me not idiot, you know. I mean, I just come talk things, you know, me observe, you know. Me, Liz, remember, say me observe things before me come talk public, you know. Andrew. I don't think he's going to lose. What I think is happening to Andrew Oles is that international powers, <laughs> international powers that has financed him to the tune of maybe 5 billion US, 6 billion US. And in a fair exchange, they are not getting their um, side of the bargain. So my humble opinion is that he is being told you need to step down for the person they are desirous of seeing leading the Jamaica Labour Party and the country. I think that's what is happening to him. He is being told by international powers who has financed him, I say, as I said, in various areas, to maybe two and five billion US dollars or more. And they have not gotten their just Mm. Reward, they are saying he's under pressure. You need to do A, B, C that we have paid you to do, or you re relinquish the office mm. of Prime Minister of Jamaica and give it to our person. That is what I am seeing. He's not giving power to this um, per, um, class is not. He can't get power by the fall because he may have to control the army if you take it in a coup. He may have to control the media if you take it, if you get it by that way. He may control none of them there. So, him and the people reject Mark Golden. The, if Mark Golden could not have won, the local government, the yeah, yeah. The, the local government that really, you know, while I am right. while I am saying while I have said to you and the audience here that Andrew Holness has lost some popularity and Andrew Holness has had a problem, you know, with you know the voter turnout and them something there. Mark Golden, if he was a make sense leader, he would have wipe out Andrew in a local government election and swell swell the ground. Swell the ground in a Jamaica and make the people them know say look here a full speed ahead. But instead, I have never I have ahead. never seen this in Jamaica history before. Where the man yeah. lose the local election and he make them tell him say he must come out come same win. Yeah, the EOJ, the EOJ came out and made their argument, but they are not speaking directly to those who are carrying this election. You see that election denying something here can really take root in a Jamaica and become very serious, you know. 
right? No, it, it, it is taking root, but it is taking root. All right, today I was, today's Good Friday. So I'm going to go up the road after I'm done. Or I'm almost doing at home. I'll go up the road. I'm going to see a comrade, long, genuine. He's more like than me. I hear what the comrade say. Why, if, and Mark, you know, Mark can win. And I mean, me and him stand up out of my friend business place. I'm going to say to him, say, comrade, be realistic. The local government is the foundation on which central government survives, thrives, grow, take root. Without, when you have a good local government, then you have a great central government. If Mark Golding could not have defeated, Andrew is bad. Andrew is bad. May I, may I reason with him? He's an older comrade. I mean, you know. Andrew is bad. And if Andrew is bad, and Mark Golding couldn't beat him, couldn't beat him in the local government, Mark Golding worse and Jamaica and the world say, what's a rah? The people, them know what Mark Golding know. And it's time now, the MP, them show them. I love you for this topic, and I hope you have it the whole night recorded. It, has, it, so. has, it should have been said. The patriotism is in question. We are our democracy. The patriotism to our democracy mm. is simply wanting among these for, for, um, 13 politicians inside the PMP, inside Garden House, it is serious. In the stadium at Champs on the Tuesday. One of our great. one of our friends we here. Know, we are, we are not, let me just finish this case. To hear the entire stadium stood up with that beautiful voice from it was made up and sing the national anthem word for word. It was beautiful to hear it and see. Okay. One of our friends here in the comments says there are too many seats to win back for Mark to win back just by default. The PNP has 14. Mark would have to win what 17 or 18. No man's right, yes, so 18, yeah. 18 yeah, seats. 30, 30. Them have 18 for top line. Him can't do that. Him can't do that. And the people them were the people. Well, the people them were put in at the constituencies. Them where you said them cannot topple 18 seats. It look all right. You brought another thing again. The People's National Party was born. When Norman Mal was on the waterfront talking to workers and in changed the narrative, he said to them, say, when he was talking, talking, he wants something, God touched him. And he said, you know, people, if you are given the chance to decide who leads you, there and then the whole owners changes. Mm -hmm. And the people, the workers, they stood up straight and began to listen. And when they start discussing amongst themselves, they said, if we vote for who we think qualified for leaders, we get the chance to make the choice. Mm -mm. Then we are um, and I write this on the whole thing. Mark Wallin, as a British man, he might tell the people, say, eh, eh, me not give you no choice to pick a candidate. Me, I bring somebody come back from us again with a week nine man. Blessed. He so. bring who he want. Bless you. He bring him house. Well, uh, Annalise. He bring him persons them. Come here. In psychophants. Blessed. I can bring them from the York and you pick them. Blessed Queen Simone can make them win. It worked. It, it worked in well, it worked in the PNP for Golding. It didn't work for um, Bunting, so I don't really know still. No, I need them work in the local government. Them go for um, um, Venetia, Papina spent 150 million, and generally across the island, they spent 100, 650 million. Then buy back Westmoreland, then buy back St. Mary, but them couldn't win, them still lose, them still lose. Money can't help them, money can't buy rights, and money can't buy votes. No one, <laughs> PMP base, yeah, and, and the people. Stay home. Them money can't help them neither. The people them reject them comprehensively. But Liz, the patriot Liz, of the, of the, of the members. Hmm? Right now, Jamaica is stuck between a rock and a hard place. May I agree with the people that we are saying. So one of our friends, Robert. Good night, Robert Bennett. Good night. One of our friends, Robert Bennett, he said, Mark Golden will not be able to bring out more people than what he brought out in the local election. <laughs> He has a high mountain to climb in terms of seat counts. But the government is struggling with bringing out people as well. Wouldn't you guys agree with that? Remember what balance over here, Saino? 
Yes. The government yes. now struggle to for bring out people, guys. Yes. yes, but the government bring out more people. It's like a, it's like a race to the bottom. Me not me not in me not join the race to the bottom situation in all is. <laughs> yeah, we're not join race. You can't you can't go and join race to the bottom. Mm -hmm. Cause the game start tomorrow. And watch me again. These are patriotic athletes going out there representing to the best of their ability. But these Jesus. um um they them are the problem. They those eleven two from 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 thirteen Ligua. Eleven? Mm -hmm. Those two eleven. Those eleven members of parliament. Parliament must accept say in can lead them. Right? Julian Robinson must accept say him can lead. Gray and must accept say him should not lead the seat. Damon Crawford must accept say you shouldn't go by the go do you look at the same thing me you in a East Rural or your own. Cousins must accept say you made a statement. You shouldn't back down. Mm -hmm. Um Dennis, Dennis Daly stood our ground against um, Mayor Scott, who two weeks before the general election in 2020 come to challenge her, she stood her ground and defend her constituency. She must understand that she needs to come back to the Dennis so we know the Dennis patriotic, patriot. That's why I said the whole of them, the whole of them are lose value. You think that me would have stand up, me not stand up with no man, no picnic, no family member, anybody will bring down my value. I swear to God, it better me walk alone yeah. in this world. You crazy? Me not walk yeah. with nobody if you bring down my value. If you look here, if you cannot oh, bring up my value, I may mean, keep my value all day. Me and me and nobody no need for power, just some seeds. But all of them people yeah. are who are walk behind a mark gold in Jesus Christ. The whole of them and guys, I just this are the nicest way I can say it. So me no want nobody come over here and talk about oh that sounds mean. No, it does not. I am speaking the truth and I am trying to say it as nice as possible. Me not me me now personally attack him. I'm speaking solely about his performance. And I am here to say that all of who are behind him, all of them young children probably can run rings around Mark Golding instead of doing simple things like, you know, do a speech or, you know, say if me, if me have a speech right now, you know, me can look, you know, me can read my speech and go, they go talk without the speech in my hand. I might have never talked, I might have never um, talked, repeat the speech verbatim because, you know, you might do it in different orders. But I know what the hell I wrote or what I read and I can go out there and recite it and, you know, say what I have to say. But people, a long time, you know, see adults do them something, you know. When you read a speech, you know, or you, you repeat a speech, you know, your head down in the paper the whole time. Look here, only not only not take public speaking um courses in a college, all over college. Only not take public yeah. speaking and know say when you are taught, you one of the last things you do are that you don't do at all. When you are speaking publicly, you do not plant your head in a script or on a paper. No. You face your audience. And even if you look down on what you're reading. You must look down and read all the old sentence and you look up to your audience and you talk your sentence. But when, yes. Mark, when Mark Golden is reading from the paper, what them give him, his head is, me, me not, boy, me, me not talk nothing more, yeah, man, because I tell him, I say, me not want God to see me, you know, because this situation no, here. No, 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 man, God was, God was the person who was most anxious, you know. Remember when, 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 when he come for kiss him, he tell him, say, well, do what you come for the man. That nothing. you. God <laughs> say, speak the truth and no. speak it ever. Liz, me Because she... it will. Whenever. It does the wrong thing, the wrong thing still. When them give the man speak something it. for right, they must carry him, go prepare him and prep him. <laughs> Carry him and make must... him go and make and show him. I don't mean I like with that. Yes, I see some friend that's why I mean I mean I keep all of a friend in all this. Because all of them people are yeah. where surrounding him. Before them care the man going in one place all, all one week before the speech and show him how to speak before an audience. You know, nobody not supposed to know say so even a whole nothing fear talking. You, know? you face your yeah. audience. Yeah. Miss Toronto, this is sitting here scary, man. 
I know the risers them over here. I know them over here, but they're not going to come in. They don't want me to see them. All right. What, get, what needs to be done in the national interest, mm. patriotically, is that the members of parliament are not stop beating it. Them claim. Some of them are saying they're dead mm. What they need to do now mm -hmm. is they must recognize that the interest, the national interest, must be their priority. Therefore, in the national interest. And I'm not thinking, I am not thinking from a tit for tat position. Because Dr. Peter David Phillips stepped down when the result came official in 2020, September 4th. Mm -hmm. Third was election, and by the next day, he accepted and he stepped aside in the interest of his nation and his party, and he gave it to them. Lisa Anna stepped up, and she was challenged by Mark Wallet. The first thing was out of his mouth was that she's a labor right. Well, times has proven that she's not. Mark Wallet. Well, even if she was, was even if she was a labor right, and she's not a labor right anymore. This is what I mean, I understand with people. You know, have a right. If you're in a one party and you decide, say, okay, this is not the place for me anymore, you know, have no right for it. It's like certain people I would have killed if I switch party. You know? No, but you see, them no, no, not neither. Lisa was never a member of the Jamaica Labour Party, never was, never will be. Lisa was married to Dr. David Panther, who was born in Mandeville. In Manchester, in a PNP family, solid. All right. He was a member of the. All right, Liz. 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 He was a member of the Patriot, and he was pushed out of the PNP Patriot, Upayui, by Basil Wait and some more current Spencer. And the man go from G2K based on the knowledge when we were out of the Patriot. The woman was never labor right, was never will be, never will be a labor right. She's a comrade. Our whole family is coming. So they must stop spreading propaganda. If they want the PNP and the country to be solidly, if they want to see 90% voter turnout and an 80% voter turnout for local government, the only solution to the problem is that the members of parliament of the People's National Party must appoint no Comrade Lisa Rene Shante Hannah. As opposition leader, she prove our, our patriotism in a local government. She won 100%. You know, what, you know what is so shameful? And I am not afraid to talk that. Lisa runs rings around Mark Golding. Lord God. There is no... Hold on, Liz. Hold on, Liz. I'm going to say this to the audience. Lisa you Hannah, Lisa Hannah run, runs rings around Golding and bunting combined okay now you know so lisa is not gonna do what them do and pay people for vote and all them kind of shit there she's not gonna do that right but one of the things that you have to give her credit for is that she has preserved self-preservation is a very important attribute to have you must know when to preserve yourself right and she has taken herself out of that self-defeating, whatever, I don't even know if I should call it a political party, but she took herself out of that self-defeating group of people, right? And so she continues to thrive. That's good and that's smart. And you got to have courage to be able to do that, right? And do it and make the transition like she did. So we are patriots. They are patriots. That it, I, I would consider it so because if Lisa yeah. did not follow up behind Mark like the rest of them and I say, yeah, man, Ray, 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 me that, me, me that, me that really start look on her different, you know? <laughs> Honest to God, I mean, I really come out here, come, come ask her, say, like, what the heck, you know? Didn't Jamaica teach you better than that? We in a Jamaica, All we're right. not we're not fooling you know? her. Lisa, no, I have, a, I have a photograph. I have a photograph right here. That I wanted to share with the audience, right? When you look at the divide and conquer that took place, I don't know if you could see your screen right now, but when you look at the divide and conquer that took place in the PNP, where 
Look at all these women. You have um, Duncan, Price, Angela, Venetia, and this lady here, or Martin Norman, I know. And this was a time when you see women, you know, interacting and appear genuine and things like that. And everybody just disintegrate. You know, realize the damage with them your people do. Yes. Nobody not chat to nobody. Yes. It's like mm -hmm. politics, boy, it's a dangerous thing. But let us talk now in closing about um the second part of this broadcast tonight. And it's about who really wants to see good governance in Jamaica. Peter Bunting, he is fixated on reciting what he wrote, the end part of what he wrote in the budget speech about good governance. He has something to say about good governance. Let us talk about good governance and whether Peter Bunting was interested in good governance. We can be honest over here on this channel and say that under Andrew Wilness government, people were so sick and tired of every minute you turn around, somebody either a misappropriate the people and funds of the country or some corruption are gone. In I'm administration, not the truth. You had Andrew Wheatley, who them take too much money from Petro Jam and throw a big party for him, right? Big Wakanda party and then pull up a parliament just like this. Like a some pimp out something, okay? This is so inappropriate to me. And him saying pay about the money. Okay, whatever. Andrew Wellness must have demote him or shift him or whatever. You have these guys right here. Who them get charged and mix up in a some kind of corruption business down a picture jam. This Indian guy when him sing and fly greenly. Mix up. Right? Andrew Wellness take out himself from there. And they prosecutors are dealing with them yeah this woman from petro jam i don't know who for baby mother she be or uh, where she come from but this woman turned hr manager a petro jam and she not have no degree to qualify her to do so you had jc hutchinson would take land give him baby mother and him pick me he had to be he had to be shifted and this woman right here, so she was fired. At last I heard, she was back in Brooklyn, New York, right? You have Ruel Reed, and I didn't, I didn't even bring out Ruel Reed on the screen as of tonight, you know, because trust me, for see how Jamaica is taking so long to bring these people to trial, it's just disgusting to me. But we all know the story behind Ruel Reed. So Andrew Holness yeah. has had some very challenging events happen. In his first term as Prime Minister of Jamaica. So you had the opposition out there saying, hey, you know, this is happening, that is happening, and you know, everything start blow up and rare and and just start to get uncomfortable. And I remember one time I was over at Devon House waiting to have a meeting with somebody. And right next door to Devon House, I heard this big applaud going on and Go out there, go look and thing. I'm say, Andrew Holness was having a meeting right next door. Devon House. I think I can rent out that place there and keep meeting or whatever over there. But go over there and listen. I mean, Andrew Holness, I say, he's so disappointed. And that's when the whole royal read thing blew up, you know. But during all of that, when Peter Phillips was being the opposition leader that he should be in calling out these things and, you know, coming out and saying boy every minute or something like this and ray ray what was peter bunting doing at that time peter bunting was busy plotting up against him leader peter bunting was busy undermining him leader peter bunting never care nothing about, about good governance them time there so what is the problem now where he's so fixated getting in people's faces demanding that he reads his written budget speech with the end of it where he might chastise people about good governance. Yes, next week I'm going to bring out the video where he was crying in front of the nation as security minister. I'm going to bring out the data where under his leadership in Jamaica as a security, the head security 
chief security officer. Scamming became a big thing in Jamaica under his watch. Right? Right now, them change it from scamming to chopping because that is what is going on in the country. And just like how PJ make crime get out of hand in a Jamaica, a same so bunting make scamming get out of hand and come ball before the nation. And now he's talking in people's faces about good governance. When it was appropriate to talk about good governance, he wasn't about that life. He was about undermining, sabotaging, trying to get power. This man is far from genuine. Liz, when me look on people, me know they're them genuine, you know. Me can't tell us that this man is genuine, you know. Not even close to it, you know. You understand? Oh, yeah. Yeah, but you, you, don't, you don't talk good governance, you know. You don't talk good governance. You enact good governance. And Peter Bunting, as you hope, when you are going to bring the clip where he cried in public, it was down in Monday, blah, carrying that at the church service. When you are, when you're going to please bring the I freak out song that you made for him. Don't cry, Mr. Bunting. Please don't leave all that. Make it be a theme song. She did. Wait, 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 you might get the same time, you know, I hear it. Make mm -hmm. one of your um, go by YouTube when you're close and of the it, it my it name Don't Cry, Miss Abonte. Don't cry, Miss Abonte. Blah blah blah. Don't cry, Miss Abonte. Yeah, man, I queen, I freak that. How false me, I am. It's Jamaica people. Yes, Wouldn't know what that's happening. Don't cry, Miss Abonte. Yeah, man. No. She made a song for me. And then no, now, Liz, members say this is a man, security minister, we say him get robbed, you know. Eh? Right. May I wonder the so thing them where them one. take off, the thing them where them lose on the laptop. May I wonder if I, if I, um, I classified information. There are people that are too big and kill, you say, man. Oh, where do they I find the girl? Remember the people them vote him out, you know, when a people vote you out, it means that they don't want a representation from you. They don't want nothing at all from you. And him friend put him back in a Senate for come talk for who. Oh. But how oh, did he get there? How oh, did he get there? Senator appointed by Dr. Peter David Phillips. Norman Horn, a genuine comrade. Who made errors along the way? But a genuine, he, he was born in a PNP family. But now, nah, Liz, a... Liz, make one about a good yeah. issue. Because Norman Horn was a citizen. <laughs> I am cannot go yeah. in here. Yes. So make sure nobody go in at that. Okay, go. So go when in. He, told, he gave information on a citizen of the country. That is what he did to get into the Senate where he shouldn't have been placed. Oh. He gave up personal Bunting? information on the on the, seat, the then senator appointed by Dr. Phillips. That is what Peter Bunting did. Let me tell you what, let me tell you what I hear from a credible source of Peter Bunting do with Norman on. Bunting call out an airport. I met the people them out an airport, give him the record of Norman on's travel and the record of his um, immigration status. And then him come ball it out and say, nah, man, and can't end the Senate because him a citizen and him travel this time and that time. Me say, then wicked, then wicked, then wicked. Me say, bunting, wicked, yeah. wicked, wicked. Me say, bunting, have a per... Yeah, man, him vicious. Nah, man, and was a dual, dual citizen. Yeah, them him call and met the people them. Give him the information, right? Me don't know if him pay for the information. Maybe in pay for the information. Now, yeah, would you pay. would you as a citizen now feel safe? Tell the truth now. Would you in a in a in a situation feel safe to have a man like Peter Bontin leading in a either leading a party, leading a country, or so close to a leader that he would be able to do these things? No. These are people who will seek you out and kill you. May I tell you no? And I say that with no water yes. in my mouth. These are people who will track you down, people who will stalk you down and kill you. All right. Roll cops. Yes. Roll cops. You see, 
that is why it comes back to what we and that maybe that's ask. why now man and have him picking them a live for right and maybe that's yes. why now man and nobody not fighting with them because they realized that these people who so viciously dealt with him in the public as well these are people who will kill you look what them do melissa Liz, how much ears no. now may I tell Jamaica people them say? How much ears no, no, no. much ears no may I tell Jamaica people them say? Them the cult here where I call themselves leader. May I tell people say them murder us and viper us. Uh, but it, 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 the, um, the, the, the sitting member of parliament for East Portland was owned in the viciously by Peter Murdoch Bunting using a woman and who them claim is a lawyer named Andrea Moore when the city MP was in Asia trying to resource help for his constituency one was to build a hydro hydro um ele, hydro electric or uh, hydro whatever you call it dam mm -hmm. in East Portland them all a fraud um delegate voting the man never resigned as MP. The man never indicated that he was going to resign as MP because he was young. And they used a fraudulent method involving Julian Robinson and Paul Burton and cook up and pour it and just as she beat at a room field by eight. Peter Bunting finance are all time over there. Eventually, how did they get him out? He was stabbed sometime mm. in his back on the 1st of February. 2019 these people are murderers of course no doubt about it and no apology in saying so because we no see them apology. deeds we see them deeds and we know them deeds and at time now yes. forget all murderers from out of parliament and out of the senate right all, all of them be. from all everywhere in jamaica they're not support you see all andrew wellness he must for watch him back you know and people might hear this and feel say a joke. This is no joke. When people show you who they are, believe them. When them can kill them own and come out and behave like nothing happened. Ah, uh, I look so. how she was killed. Oh, she was killed by by Mark Golin, appointed, appointed chairman of yeah. the committee. Uh, Liz, Liz. Thank you so much for your contribution. I see that um a few yeah. people have tried to call, but um you know you're our number one caller, so we have to finish up this phone call first. But Liz, right. we will talk again next week. Next week, no, yes, next we're gonna come look yes. on. We're gonna come look on a few things, including Bunting's record in Jamaica as security minister. Right? We're gonna show I'm the people sorry. when he was balling. We're going to look at the scamming yes. situation and make we have a real discussion about good governance and how he contributed a lot thereof to good governance. Yes. Liz, I will catch remember up with you. Queen I Freak song, remember to get it. Bunting, why are you balling? Okay. <laughs> don't, don't, don't cry, Mr. Bunting. Okay. <laughs> Lord Jesus. All right. Good night. Yes. Good night. Thanks for having me. Yes, you're welcome. Yeah. Don't talk Monday. All right. Yeah, guys. So, no doubt about it. We know who are fake and we know who are real. Right now, hold on there. Let me see what time. Let me see what time Marlene come in at about I am late. 9.58. Two minutes ago, boy, you're late. Look how long we're there. Marlene, where did they? Why is the system taking so long to deal with these men? Which system? Are the people of Jamaica have to deal with them? The people of Jamaica deal with this man already, you know. They vote him out, you know. So, and I like said the people are not aware, you know, and they are basically saying, you know, what they want and what they don't want. The people are fully aware and fully engaged. You understand? Yeah, man. Um, I'm going to just tell some people something. 
I know that some people are a little concerned, you know, they must say, boy, you know, on a, on a harsh over here and rare, rare, rare. Let me tell you something. You see them people here? Yeah? FBI, I watch them. State Department, I watch them. The FBI and the State Department, I watch nobody over here saying, you know? Cause we no murder over here saying, you know? we no do them wickedness and corruption, you know? So you see them people here you now, we have to come out of Jamaica politics. FBI I watch them, State Department I watch them, and they know they do and what they are about. Right? They not trust them, they not meet with them, they not in and out with them, guys. So we not fear no evil over here, so we are doing our due diligence by informing the people and them so they understand, guys. So Remember when we talk over here, said balance, it's truthful, and we don't talk with no water in our mouth. We deal with fear analysis. We have critical thinking skills, right? We don't come out here and come and fearly uh, bring down anybody. Yes, I'll take a few calls before I go off tonight, Electro. All right, let's see. Hello, good night. Good night, Nats. How are you doing? Hi, I'm fine. You're live. Okay. All right. So um, just a few things I wanted to add to the topic tonight. Mm -hmm. uh, first of all, there are a few quotes from some famous people, even though they are Americans. Um, most of us know of them mm -hmm. um, as it relates to patriotism. So first, I wanted to mention Thomas Jefferson. Yes. He said, um, love your neighbor as yourself yes. and, your, and your country more than yourself. Mm -hmm. Now, when we look at that quote and we think about the people who we're looking at tonight, mm -hmm. you know, just food for thought. We go again and um, Michelle Obama, we all know her. Mm. She said, no country can ever truly flourish if it stifles the potential of its women and deprives itself of the contributions of half of its citizens. Oh gosh, very profound. Okay, mm -hmm. go back again. The last one, John F. Kennedy, he said in um, his inaugural speech, ask not what your country can do for you, mm -hmm. but what you can, can do, do for your country. For your country. We all mm -hmm. know that famous one. Mm -hmm. Right? And um, I just wanted to quickly, you know, just list a few things that patriots don't do. And then we're going to you know, just think about it and compare and to see if these people do these things or don't do these things. Yes. And then we can just use that now to know whether they are patriots or not. Yeah. So first of all, patriots do not disrespect the electoral commission of their country. Yes. Patriots do not disrespect the constitution of their country. Mm -hmm. Patriots do not disrespect the Jamaican roots or the roots of whichever country they belong to. Mm -hmm. Patriots do not disrespect the female contribution to their, their, their country. Mm -hmm. And finally, patriots do not disrespect the parliament and senate of their country mm -hmm. good night natalie and good night jpu family this is lifestyle news thank you for your contribution okay have a good Bye -bye. night yes mm -hmm. guys may I always talk it on always you may talk it over here say Jamaican people are some of the most intelligent people in the world. You don't even have to have formal education, right? The Jamaican people that I have observed, that I have talked to from growing up in Jamaica, 
to befriending Jamaicans in adulthood, to working with Jamaicans in the diaspora, anywhere in the world that you go. It's a Jamaica. I go outshine and them I go overperform and them competitive. And you know a Jamaican when they say a Jamaican. Some conversation that they can have with Jamaican people. Whenever I spend one day in a higher education institution, I assume I talk about. What wife style just said, very profound. Very, very profound. Hello, good night. Hello, good night. Night, Natalie. Hi, what's going on? Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, I'll just uh, make a few points. I have a big respect to that call of the first and foremost. Eh? Yes. Yeah, man, because um, some of the things we highlight, I think more Jamaicans really, you know, take a note of them things. They know what is really patriotism. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And seeing as a part of patriotism, and we got to talk about a handful of people. Um, really, was just about you know disrespect to the parliament and the senate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and plundering of our country resources and all of that. Mm -hmm. You know, it does make us start think back. You know, here we are grappling about um bunting on him courts. Mm -hmm. Yeah. These men were key beneficiaries of something what was described by a former men, member of parliament as the most massive transfer of wealth from the poor to the rich since slavery was abolished. And it's true. It's true. And I'm a joke thing. And it, and it is true. Mm -hmm. And when the administration changed, and the policy changed, and they realized that they couldn't make the kind of resources that they were making before. Mm -hmm. That's when they packed up and run to politics. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Well, some of the things that you have been highlighting on your channel, even before this channel, from YouTube days, yeah? Mm -hmm. We won't get these things from mainstream media for some reason or the start, and we know how media in Jamaica is like. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A lot of the medias are affiliated. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you won't get these things out of the media. And the average Jamaicans who know pay attention to them history and all of that. And if them grow in an environment where them get indoctrinated one way or another, mm -hmm. they most they all know these things. So you turning on the light on some of these things will you know, open up some eyes, which me know them are open eyes, come and see people in the comments about why, you know, you teach them a lot. Mm -hmm. And we appreciate it all. Yeah, man. When people hear people, would I say, beat, bunting on in friends, they wouldn't understand where they come from, you know. To today's date, mm -hmm. you have people still a suffer what they went through under this thing, sir. Regime, you know. Them not tell us the people call me all the while and email me say they're a victim of Finsack, man. See, I know. I can't tell you for a fact because I can tell you that I see my father lost his house, his business, and many things through that regime. Mm -hmm. So, me can't talk from a first and experience. All politicians right? call me and tell me to, you know, so they're a victim of Finsack, you know. Me can't talk from a personal experience. There are people who I know growing up who are vibrant business people who got wiped out mm -hmm. during that period, right? Mm -hmm. Now, these people brand themselves as being rich and successful businessmen. Yeah. But yet, when the administration changed and the monetary policy changed, they never see themselves being thriving businessmen. You know, them run from business and run to politics. So why do you think them are run come back in our politics so viciously for? But them coming back to policy. <laughs> They're making a, you notice the amount of money them spend both for buy the party and for campaign and all these things. Yeah. They are making an invest are making an investment. Yes. And them seek for reap 
from them investment, yeah? And what I should say is, what is their end game? We already see the investment, the hostile acquisition. Yes, what is their end game, you think? You, you make mention of it some time ago. The whole land grabbing and the real estate development and approval and all of that. And, you know, mm -hmm. having power in this country, we give them leverage in other jurisdiction as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. That is part of the whole game. Mm -hmm. So you understand what's going on then? Yeah, man. I want to people just sit down and look on this thing from a PNP, JLP standpoint. But mm -hmm. they don't understand the gravity. Right? But them, you would have, you would have really consider them a man of PNP or just some local unscrupulous. Them, 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 me wouldn't consider them PNP. But them just I use the PNP as the vehicle where them seem most fitted for carry them. Okay. Jesus Christ. Mm-mm. Well... You know what is the most interesting thing about all of this? When you look at the role they played in FinSAC, and you hear them yep. using the word corruption toward Andrew Olness, what do you say to that? Come in, I want to put the words in your mouth, you know. What do you... I want to put the words in your mouth, you know. I just have to laugh because corruption, corruption becomes a word that is just being used loosely. Mm -hmm. Right? I listen to these people, me's a person, me, all the type of person like this way. For me, I youth I grow, me always crave information. Me always drawn to social commentary. And mm, all these okay. Right? That's good. I grew up in a household where my family was more leaning to what I say, a PNP family background then. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And the nineties changed a lot of we a lot of things for me and the way of me think. Mm hmm about politics because let me say some mm -hmm. people must get wiped out throughout the nineties. hard working business people it's a wicked up man wicked up when they hear some of the testimonies them and that's why i'm telling the truth that is one of the reasons why i have not been reading the emails in the last couple of weeks when the people them tell us on sitting but with things that do them jesus christ man I got to tell it, take, take, take you out of your house, you know, man. Take you out of your house, you know. People. People see these people come, at this, I tell people, say them come with clean hands and this and that to come control the reins of power. It just turns some people's stomach, may I tell you? No, man, it's disgusting, bad man. The way them, you see what them do? Them for staying at the background. Them not for come no up on the front line. But all them, no, all them trying to flip the no. script, as if Jamaica people forgot the role they played it. They'll never have this Finsa yeah, conversation yeah, yeah. publicly. And a lot of people don't know. They will never that have this. You have, eh? you have a whole heap of people out of the road where they consider well thinking, educated people who don't understand what really happened. Then, you know, either they're either they're too young mm. or they never did pay attention to what was happening around them. Then. Mm. But a whole heap of people still don't know. No, sir. Them not have no them 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 supposed to go all a back seat. What them do with FinSAC, they will not. The amount of time of yeah, people was, come, they will not come, come up plan, front and have that conversation. Them flaunt them money in a people face so they make them money already yes. and them and clean and them this and them that. People don't understand what happened then won't know. Right? What pe them people are doing for affect up whole lot of people's life people lose them life people commit suicide people oh, so friends who come dead right people mm. see them family business where hand down to them from them grandparents to them parents to them wiped out so where them right? are going now where them are going again them what i mean i know these people don't know nothing about patriotism them mm -hmm. they don't know nothing about jamaicans Mm -hmm. right? This is not about Jamaica. This is about them personal business investments. That's how we mean. So what you have to say about the people them not the PNP who I behave like these guys have the interest of the people or this is normal? What do you have to say to those people? Uh, a lot of them know that them people are not really about the people. You but think so? You see, you see, the crave 
for money and power mm-hmm. can make some well thinking people think foolish to you. Mm-hmm. Some people sit down around them just a wait to get themselves on some reins of power. Mm-hmm. Right? Them not think about the country, them not think about them personal gains. Jesus, Father. Right? My blood run cold. If the party, me in the party, good, I would want to get rid of them. It already made them slip through the cracks and get in and control. So it's hard for them just push them out. So you see them already do use NEC the NEC and change the constitution. Them can challenge more before another before the next election. Mm-mm. What then what they do? Them see them them carefully craft some things. I mean I tell you, you have a lot of people in a media. A lot of people in a civil society. Mm-hmm. I have a lot of people and a lot of these public bodies that are aligned to a lot of these people. Yeah? Mm-hmm. And that's one of the things that make it hard for them to just get rid of just so. No, but normally under these circumstances, what you see happen is a mass, regist- re- mass resignation. We saw it with the, um, Boris Johnson even over in the UK. When you have a leader there who is behaving defiant or is being tone deaf, right? What you usually see is around them, everybody does start resign. They have options, oh, well, you know? They have options. That, that, are, that, that are in a places where people, people have conscience for one and people have patriotism where they discuss. Most of them people are about patriotism. What it's about time? them own personal ambition. Who don't want the ministers or senators or who don't want to control this or that public body. Mm-hmm. People are lying themselves where them see something in the, in the game to them. You know? It's a disgraceful right? situation, man. Trust me. Of Very course disgraceful. it is. Well, thank you for calling. I appreciate yeah, it. Man. Blessings As again. Usual. Man. Yeah, man. Take care of yourself. People in the chat. Thank you. Somebody was calling. Now, what's the from where you're coming? I like really put all people identity on them. Somebody. Caller, you can call back. I'll take your call. And then I will close off the phone line tonight. What a disturbing situation, eh? Guys, make sure so now share the content to help educate the people them, you know. Right? Make sure so now help expose the wolf them in a sheep clothing. Because Jamaica can do much better. Right? You see that lady there on the back in that picture you have on the burgundy? Cassan Troop. She's one of the people along my life, along the way, who helped to grow me as a community person. Kassan, I always remember her from the days of camp. We used to go to summer camp every summer, and people like her, they played such an important role in helping to groom the younger kids, them and the younger people. Them. And she was so smart during that time and such a role model. Yeah, man. So... All right, I guess I guess we can close off the phone line now. But guys, I hope that you enjoy the program. I hope you learned something new tonight. That's always the goal, is to make sure that you know people are getting information. You know, we have our own style of delivery over here, and we we don't we're not being paid by anybody or you know coerced and all these things. We know what we're about out here, you know. Right? And I thank you guys so much for participating and for having faith, for having faith in the platform here because you keep coming back to listen, whether you're a silent listener, whether you're participating, whether you're a member over here. You have faith in what we are doing over here. And there's only one aim and one objective, and that is to make sure that Jamaica has people in that parliament, no matter what side they're on, they're there for the right reasons, and they're honest, they're decent, and they are participating in the development of Jamaica and her people. That's it. 
That's all we're about out here. And we realize, say, the mainstream media in a Jamaica, we remember the days when talk radio was the place to be and the thing. Even now, sometimes me still listen to talk radio in Jamaica, you know. Luckily, we have YouTube, so I still listen to people like Muta, you know. And sometimes when I can catch Cabo, I listen to her too. But this is where people would, you know, do investigative journalism and bring the news to the people and all the vibes of the people and hear what the people they must say. And the people them had an outlet where them could have called and be sure that the people they're speaking with are not in an a politician pocket and them sitting there. You understand? So right now we don't really have nobody to talk for the people them. And that's the problem. So I hope that when you come over here, you know, we don't all, we don't we don't always, you know, get it 100%. Sometimes sometimes we do, very rarely we don't. I want to just come out and talk, do research, investigation, and give you a critical report and analysis over here. Guys, please give the live a thumbs up. And thank you. Yeah, man, we're glad for social media. Very much. Can you imagine if we didn't have social media and had to still rely on the two station them we will have? Eh? Can you guys imagine? We're glad for this. It can be used in a productive way. Sorry, constructive way. And it can be used, you know, in another way. I saw somebody make a comment earlier. I, mean, I didn't want to respond to, but you made a talk. Me hear somebody say, Mark Golden have about 10 bloggers, they might appear or whatever. I know Mark Golden alone have bloggers out here. The government party has bloggers out here too. You know? That's just the nature of the beast that we're dealing with today. You understand, guys? And we know as people, we must decide who we want to listen to. We know who they are. You know, the people who are advocates are, you know, um, whether I call them mouthpieces or whatever, for one side or the other. We know who they are. And in a time like this, in my view, it is best to listen to people who are objective. You know, so even if you even if you have a bias, you know, guys, you're supposed to can talk and split justice and come out on the right side. Me not understand the type of tribalism with some people. Then we see the thing and know say the thing wrong. And I make every excuse. You know, how when me stop, go up on other vloggers' channel, go listen to them. When we see what happened with Melissa Silvera, I me see people come out here and I say, the police, them are wicked. I lie, the police, them are tell. How man for kill him, wife, and I look autopsy for do. And I cover up. And I, and I frame them, I frame him. I mean, I say, are you freaking kidding me? Are these people serious? Eh? The man analyze the woman. The man analyzed the woman. We know because why? Because he lied about it. If you lie about it, we don't have no more argument with you. Know. We don't have no more chat. We don't have no more chattings with you. Know. They lied about it. The people who come out and accuse the police and accusing people of framing him, they have never addressed the inconsistencies. In what they have told people. She died in her sleep. She died from... And why are they lying? They don't talk about that stuff. And when I see people can chew a woman under the bus like this. And the man will kill her. They might try to protect the man. Then the people they are in a nullatum part. Because see him some who come dead and they out here do me. Chew me under a bus. And take up for the man. Me not trust people like them there. Right? So we have to just know who we are listening to, who we are getting information and news from. You know, and don't don't have anything to do with them. That's it. One thing for sure, guys, over here, sir. So, you ever get you, you ever get justice and you ever get truth. Honest to God. 
So with that being said, I thank you guys for your participation. And on Monday, if nothing happens between now and then, because today a lady asked me if I do the show already with the guys who lost their seats, where I said, um, I'm going to tell you guys why they can't go back to where they lost. Now, I had to postpone that a few times because, you know, the news cycle is always moving. And when you see certain thing come up, you have to talk about it right then. So sometimes, you know, if it's something I'm bringing back or something that has passed, more we'll postpone it and deal with what is happening now. So hopefully on Monday, if nothing happens between now and then, then we will talk about that. Right? So I love and appreciate each and every one of you. Thanks for the likes and the subscription, being a member, you know, for sharing the content, for agreeing and disagreeing with us over here. Thanks for being respectful toward one another. I read every comment and I say, Uno, deal with each other pan a level, right? A mature adult level. No disrespect. And I really appreciate that because that will definitely would definitely take away from the discussions we're having here. And we're promoting a mature platform, guys. We're not promote no look of foolishness over here. So we are promoting an intelligent you know, platform where people can have civil discourse and all these things. Over here, so we don't want a tribalist come over here. You can belong to any party or whatever you want to belong to or no party. But you see, when you come here, if you can put on your critical thinking hat and say truth and call it truth and say lie and wickedness and call it lie and wickedness, then you are welcome over here. If you don't have that in your love, this is not the channel for you. I just saw the thing set. Okay? So have yourselves a good night and a good weekend. Take care on yourself until we meet again. Take care.